This is the robot that uh, children can play with at home so that they can it can keep them busy and they can so that they don't go out there to play with other kids as which which can expose them to coronavirus like in this lockdown kids can play with this robot and they may not need to go away from home to play maybe with other kids so i'm going to take you to show you how each part works so this is the robot which is dismantled but not completely dismantled so um we have this sensor it helps the the robot to check these sensors they help the robot to see the ball but now there is this uh, the right sensor it helps to see the ball on the left side where it faces on the left then the left sensor helps the robot to see the ball if the ball is on the right then this one helps the robot to see if the ball is in front then it can come and kick it then you have this it's called a motor driver it's the one that controls the movement of the robot the wheels these wheels moving left right forward backward then you have a switch for switching power on and off then this there is this board which is the arduino board it is the brain of the robot it is the one that tells the robot what to do after detecting the ball the one that tells the robot what to do this one is the buzzer that produces sound like when after kicking the ball it, as it goes backwards it this one makes a sound then you have the battery that supplies power for moving the robot forward backward and also supplying power to the sensors so now we are going to connect that's uh, we're going to assemble <coughs> and connect so we are going to assemble this part of the sensors <coughs> This will do like this. Then push until it is here. Then even the other sensor. Um, yes. Then you can have this. So now we have to connect the wires. So it has wires either for data, data each sensor has for data sending the signal if it has detected object. Then this for powering all the sensors. First screw connect the sensor and put screws here like this so we have to put screws for the sensor part put the screw let's push this one put the screw another screw here Let us first put the battery. Battery sits behind the robot like this. So this one enters here. See? Like this. Then you have to put screws. Then one screw for holding the battery. So 
although here the power comes to the motor driver which supplies that power from the battery to the wheels the motors of the wheels then also supplies from the motor driver steps down the voltage to 5 volts which is used to supply power to the sensors and to the board so get wire this red one is positive it goes it is for powering the boards but we are using this so that we can be able to tap power for the sensors this is for the sensor positive and uh, this is positive negative so other we are tapping power for the sensor then this is, will be in the negative terminal now i'm going to connect the motor driver to connect from uh, port 2 to 3 4 the right sensor connects to the sensors the signal the left connects to 5 and 6 then the one in the middle it connects to 8 and 9 the left sensor Connects to ten and eleven. Then the buzzer black wires to connect to the negative red wire to thirteen. Connect two wires the positive negative from OD. Huh? Positive, negative, oh. switch on.